वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू योर थ्री एंड फोर्थ डी एफ यू कॉल यू ब्लेसिंग वे गॉड इज ट्राइंग टू टीच अस मेथड टू हैव अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंथुजियाजम एंड हैव लेस ऑफ मूड स्विंग्स सो लेस फाइंड आउट वॉट इज बाबा टू सेटर इन दिस वरदान ऑफ ब्लेसिंग बाबा सेज मे यू बी एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ वर्च्यूज हु हैज कॉन्स्टेंट एंथुजियाजम बाई डूइंग वॉट by constantly being eager to see everyone's virtues that's the method and make them content that's another method of making other people content that's why people will be very happy around you but if you are talking about their negativity to others if you are spreading about their negativity to others that this person is like this and you tell that person that that person is like this and if you're spreading it out and you're eavesdropping then obviously nobody will be your friend at the end of the day so let's find out what does baba say Baba says, in order to have constant zeal and enthusiasm, that is, if I want to have the happiness, zeal, enthusiasm in my mind to do things I had in my life, a very crucial thing, which we generally find ourselves into ups and downs in our life, because we see something negative in others, or we talk negative in others, or we thinking negative in others. So Baba says, be eager to make everyone who comes in contact with you content. Now, how to make other people content? If you are smiling in front of them when you are talking to them, but that the background background means the soul that you are in your mind you are thinking negative, but outwardly you are just smiling, then it's a fake thing which you are doing. But that is going to create two kinds of thoughts in your mind. One is positive, one is negative. And if you have positive and negative, what happens? There is always a push and pull, right? Magnetic theory. There is a push and pull. But if you have got purity in there in your mind towards the person, if you are only looking at the good in the other person you're talking good to that person and you're not having two different thoughts then you'll have a constant mood then there won't be any reduction in zeal and enthusiasm so god says in when you come in contact with everyone you make them content how do you do that let's find out whomever you see continue to pick up virtues from them at every moment the deities have been shown with a crescent at the back a white light crescent right but now since we have taken many births and we have come down to the end of kali yuga or this drama our crescent the white light has reduced just like the moon which is completely full moon half moon quarter moon and then completely is just a single line in the moon left that means we also have at the end of this kali yuga after so many births little bit of purity only left little bit of qualities of virtues left and the rest of the qualities have washed away they become dark so god says but still there's something good in somebody right there's something good in you too that's why you are loved by god so god says baba says whomever you see you come in contact with you pick up virtues from them you see that light in them little bit of light even though they got everything in darkness they got bad qualities or something but you only try to look at the best in them virtues from them at every moment why is that important by receiving the power of everyone's virtues when you look at the virtues in others what is going to print over here only virtues are going to get printed if you look at the negativity in others what are you collecting over here in your bank over here you collecting negativity so if you are surrounded by negative thoughts and words your mood and your enthusiasm will never be up so that's the method to not reduce our enthusiasm we ourselves reduce our enthusiasm nobody else is responsible for that so by receiving the power of everyone's virtues you will have enthusiasm all the time enthusiasm reduces <coughs> when you look at the various forms and different situations or hear about them when somebody is in a situation you have a friend you made a friend you came to know somebody and you found them very good but later on they came into a situation and there's you suddenly find them they're getting very angry or they're getting egoistic or they're getting jealous and you're like my god i did not know this person what has happened to this person this person is totally different because these people in different situations will react but still only look at the goodness which you saw in them in the beginning only stick to that because otherwise your mood will go up and down thinking negative about them so god then says if you have the eagerness to see which however if you have the eagerness to see virtues your enthusiasm will remain constant and stable and by seeing everyone's virtues you will become an embodiment of virtues so what we print over here is dependent upon us what we allow to be printed here is also dependent upon us and our mood and enthusiasm is not based on somebody else's reaction somebody else's words why we are, if we have the habit of looking at virtues in them forgetting what negativity they are doing in what's whatsoever situation causes 
then your enthusiasm will be maintained so this is today's blessing if you plan to do this and how do you do that how do you get that power to do it that is also attained by meditation which we learn at Brahma Kumaris so do visit your Brahma Kumaris center and learn this meditation which helps you to have enthusiasm and zeal all the time have a pleasant day Om Shanti Thank you.